I used to be a professional swimmer, competing in a national and international competition. It's a sport where there are no shortcuts. And that's pretty much maybe what happened in consulting, because at the end of the day, you work so much for a presentation to maybe CXO, like even minister and so on. It really gives you the same level of satisfaction. Being an entrepreneur always starts with the desire to solve a problem. I'm genuinely passionate about entrepreneurship. For me, there's a very, very, very big social aspect. I do skydiving, jet ski, uh, water sports, and now recently I've been practicing a lot of cycling. And I really enjoy the challenge, and I try to always think of ways to push myself a little bit more every time. What I like about jet skiing is that you can choose the most creative and most unique way of reaching from point A to point B. And this is what we try to do for our clients. When I start running, there's a lot on my mind, but the more you keep running, I think the less you're thinking and the more you're just kind of in the moment. If everyone around you is performing at a certain level, it kind of pushes you to perform at that level too. You can always ask people for help. I've reached out to partners and been like, what would you do in this situation? We really do everything hand in hand together as a team and also with the client, which is very rewarding because at the end you see the impact of the work. There is this entrepreneurial culture where everybody is pushed to literally draw their own uh, career path. It's not just about consulting and how many hours you as a consultant put in the timesheet at the end of the day. They really care about your personal growth and how you become not only as a consultant but as a person. I'm really seeing an improvement on my capabilities, my skill, so it's a whole journey. The other day I was working at one of our client sites and this guy walks in and starts questioning me about what I'm doing and as he was walking out he just goes, oh by the way I'm the CEO of this company. It's really cool to be able to like just see these people interact with you on a daily basis and like for them to actually take interest in the work that you're doing. Usually the people that, that I come across have a burning passion or something, but they don't necessarily have the skills to build a company. And they usually come from communities that also have the skills shortage and the skills deficit. So they grow these companies from their communities and then something quite wonderful happens. They hire from their communities and in that way uplift their communities as well. And being a part of that process is inspiring and it's a good way to contribute to the world as well. On a personal level, not only being a woman, but also being a woman from the region, to be able to uh, be part of all the projects and see the change happening and how it's impacting the lives of so many people, particularly women, and hearing so many amazing feedback from women that we meet is very rewarding. The culture is unique across the globe. I don't remember an instance where I stepped into a journey office and someone didn't say hi to me or someone didn't greet me with a smile or face. There is a really like collaborative spirit. If I have to succeed, you can succeed at the same time with me and it's great if you're doing both together. We all share sort of the same ideals here that we truly with conviction believe that this is a good place to work. Connie gives me the freedom to participate in the startup ecosystem in South Africa. It's very rewarding both professionally and personally. For me, it's been the best experience of my life.